I just finished watching a sonic geometry documentary that talks about um, not only geometry and the numbers um, related to um, mathematical terms and shapes and forms, but how it correlates to vibration, sound, and music. And I don't know if you're already familiar with this topic at all. Uh, it's something that I've um, dipped into here and there. So like modern music, um, is the uh, instruments are tuned in, um, to 440 hertz. And um, when they're tuned to 432 hertz, that's actually aligned with um, uh, the golden ratio, the, um, basically the, the math that goes into the forms of nature and the way that, um, like our, I had this video about the uh, pe um, pineal gra uh, gland and the formation of that. Um, it's the same thing when it comes into nature, like sunflowers and other um, seashells, how it, that spirals out. There's actually a math ratio involved with that. And so um, with sound and music, the higher the frequencies, especially when it aligned with 432 hertz, it all goes together. So this documentary is actually um, pretty informative. It goes into um, the various ancient cultures that um, had um, like the Tibetan bowls that are tuned to 432 and how you can see the math of the visual formations of things such as sacred geometry, um, the um, seed of life and the uh, flower of life. Actually, I wear, never been one to wear a chain or necklace, but um, I got one of these, um, which is based off of the, the flower of life, the sacred geometry. Um, and it's just a topic that really interests me. I see um, as a, I think the reason why I started getting into the whole 432 hertz and tuning of music and uh, something that I'm passionate about seeing um, as a cultural shift to retune instruments to that. There's actually whole music stations that have nothing but um, the music converted over and tuned to that. But um, the study that was done by, uh, I believe it's Dr. Moto out in Japan, when measuring the effects of um, sound and vibration and um, intention and words on water and how it was measurable with rice. If you put in the, the intention of negativity, the rice would um, get foul and quicker and expire. Whereas like if you gave love and intention or you played be beautiful music for it, it would stay fluffy and white. Um, and then at a micro, uh, microscopic level when looking at water and he had a technique of crystallizing it, you could see the effects of um, beautiful uh, classical music making like a pattern, um, almost like a snowflake versus a um, disjointed one. And measuring um, 432 hertz, it's more geometrically shaped, which makes sense. It's based off of geometry uh, numbers that um, when at 440 it um, is off. So if our body is water um, based and we are affected by, um, water is affected by sound, we're affected by it. So it makes sense to me that um, having something replicate nature, 432 hertz, um, makes sense that our cells at a, at a uh, lower level would make more sense to be aligned to that and how that would affect our airwaves and everything else and life around us um, to get us more um, consciously aligned with our environment and um, and each other so anyway I'm going to share the link to the documentary 
if it's something that you're intrigued with, go ahead and watch it. Uh, I can um, also include some of the other things I've referenced in this video um, for context. And uh, hope you have an excellent day. Bye.